All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruchach Rosh. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the man that's uh, hastening the day, which we are approaching very, very soon, man. All right. Uh, Lord willing, this Corona uh, virus continue to escalate uh, uh, towards Esau's agenda, and we know that uh, this devil is only doing what he's operating to do through the spirit of the Most High and what he programmed him to do, man. So anything that uh, Esau plans, all right, is going to be his demise, all right, and that's according to the scriptures. That's kind of what I wanted to go into. Uh, go into during this lesson is the fact that uh this this devil the so-called white man was curated to be exactly what he is the wicked man okay you have jakes that get offended when we call a white man a devil and call him out for all the wickedness that he's done but we only call it speaking the truth of of his history and his intents and his mo and who he is according to the bible man okay and he has a purpose man he has a purpose to be the wicked and be destroyed, man. All right? To persecute us for a certain period of time, but it wasn't going to be forever. Okay? So, uh, as always, Lord willing, there'll be some edification in this video. And uh, before I get in, um, some scriptures I had lined up, I want to pull the scripture first because the Most High is all about perfect balance, man. Okay? So, if he had the righteous and the chosen, he obviously had to have something on the opposite end. Which is the nation of Edom, man. Okay. The curse line that's uh, 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 set for the, uh, the day of destruction, man. Okay. So uh, this is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Okay. So the Most High is going to leave nothing unbalanced, man. All right. Even this double rain, and you're seeing the Most High starting to tip the scale and balance things out by bringing these plagues in the earth, man. All right, which is crippling this uh, the world's economy and bringing us pro closer into the kingdom through prophecy, man. All right, giving them more grounds to enforce the chip, uh, bringing about uh, more tension uh, amongst the nations, and bringing about uh, uh, to uh, bring forth uh, World War Three, man. Okay, but every move that the so-called white man is making, and we talking about the elites, not just a regular cracker walking down the street, man. All right, all the ones that's in rulership, and even even these lower level, we want. I'm speaking on the ones that actually can influence the earth, man. All right, to to follow their vibration of wickedness, man. Okay, these are the ones that the most I set up to do a specific job, man. So uh, I want to get into some scriptures about what what would the most I create this man for. All right, it, with this uh, this uh, wicked spirit in him, man. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 16 and 4. It said, the Lord had made all things for himself. Yeah, even the day, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. All right, and we're living in the day of evil, man. All right, we're at the very last seconds of this place, according to the time frame the Most High is operating on, man. We're at the very end, man. Okay. And what is evil means uh, 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 is bad times, man. All right. And who's bringing about these bad times? Esau Edom, man. All right. Through all his uh, 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 all his uh, secret agendas and the plans he have to uh, establish his new world order. All right. And try to annihilate Israel, man. Okay. And what is he doing? All his moves, the moves he's making is to further his new world agenda. All right, cut down the population, man. Take complete, have, uh, have everybody chipped, man. Okay. And we, man, in in the sitting back, we sitting back in the middle of the Lord, are watching and paying attention to all the things that's happening, man. You starting to see the liberties of these, uh, uh, uh of the people get, uh, get taken away, man. All right. And we approaching the time when this devil's about to show his horns against the nation of Israel, man. Okay. And the longer Jake go without working. Uh, if they cut these government programs, Jake is going to fucking uh, be catched uh, 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 into into Jacob's trouble, man. All right. And this devil is going to ride on the nation of Israel, man. All right. And he's going to get his uh, casualties of war amongst these other nations here in America and throughout the world. But his main target is Jake, man. Why? Because it, these are natural born and spiritual enemies, man. 
Okay, that's why when you go into the birth of uh, Jacob and Esau, it said they were warring within the stomach, man. All right, we've been at war with them from the beginning. This is the way the Most High set it up, man. Us being on the side of righteousness and the nation of Edom on the side of wickedness, man. Okay, so I'm going to read that scripture one more time. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 4. It says, the Lord hath made all things for himself, for himself, all right, for his intent. He don't need no counsel. He don't need no opinions. This is the way the Most High said it, and nobody can question him on it, man. Okay? It says, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. So this so-called white man, he's serving his purpose to perfection, man. All right? And that, that comforts us to know that we are able to recognize this, man, while the rest of the world is blinded, man. And Jake is starting to wake up, man. All right, they're starting to wake up, man. All right, and through everything that's going on now, you're seeing a lot of shit happening as far as um, Jake trying to pop up and have fear in the Lord now, man. All right, people that fell, uh, that fell out the truth, all right? Uh, women that was out of order want to sit down and read scriptures now and listen, man. No, nah, y'all didn't want to listen when the men of the Lord was out. So the, the, this this wicked man that uh, the Most High created, you are gonna feel uh, uh the the stroke of his uh whip, man. All right. And this is all uh he uh, he's another tool or the main tool. All right, whipping stick onto the nation of Israel, man. Okay. But that's just the way the Most High set it up, man, to have this man in opposition to his chosen, man, before a certain period of time, and then he will redeem them, all right, due to his son, Yahweh Shai, all right, our Lord and Savior coming and dying on the cross for us, okay, to bring us back under the adoption, man, okay? So I want to jump over to the book of uh, Romans chapter 9. I'm going to kind of jump around to uh, a few verses, <laughs> But uh, this is Romans 9 and starting at 11. It says, For the children not uh, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that called it. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. And it was written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, man. All right, so that's playing into the point, man. All right, you read the uh, same thing in the uh, book of Malachi, man. Okay? Jacob, all right, being a progenitor of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, all right, being the ones that the Most High loved and chose unto salvation and inheritance of the kingdom, man. All right? And Esau, who was beguiled of his birthright, okay, gave it up uh, 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 for, some, uh, 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 for some soup, man. All right, it says, but Esau have I hated, man. Who is he? He's the father of the uh, Edomites, man. Okay, and all the different uh, uh, names, no matter where Esau is, man, they try to label themselves different names as if they come from different uh, seed. No, y'all come from the, uh, uh, your forefather Esau, man, whether you calling yourself uh, uh, Russians or whatever, man. All right, y'all all gonna receive destruction, man. Okay. Uh, but let's uh, jump down. Well, let me read on. It says, uh, verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. Hell no. This is the decision the Most High made from the start. This is going to be the righteous. This is going to be the wicked, man. All right. While Jake is sitting around acting like they surprised every time this devil show his uh, true colors, man. All right. What, what do you expect from the devil, man? Okay. But it's uh, verse 15, for he say, uh, said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion, man. And this is the most high statement, man. In other words, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. And who's going to question me? Who's going to uh, 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 challenge my decision making? No one, man, because he's the one true living power, man. Okay. Let's jump down to verse 18. It says, therefore... Hath he, uh, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth. Thou, thou wilt say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? No one ever resisted the heavenly father's will, man. All right? And and, and his prophecies are, are, are the, uh, the proof, man. Whatever the Most High said it was going to happen, has happened, and is happening, and will happen, man. 
Okay. Verse 20, it says, uh, Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? All right, and I'm just sitting up laughing, thinking about Esau labeling himself as white, uh, so called white people. All right, trying to all everything that's pure and right, they want to attach themselves to. Man, the most I credit you to be a low life, uh, a serpent scum, man. All right, and that's all you'll ever be, man. Okay, you're going to be a piece of shit until it's time for you to disappear out the face of the earth, and it won't be light uh, that way that happens, man. Okay. But um, back in verse twenty one, the uh, it says, "Had had not the potter power of the clay, and of the same lump he maketh one vessel unto honor, and another unto dishonor." Okay, so who the vessel Israel is a vessel unto honor, man, and that's evident, man. All right, and this devil is the vessel unto dishonor, man. Okay. Verse 22, it says, What if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known and do it with much long suffering? So, man, not only are we suffering, but the most high is suffering watching his, his chosen people in this situation, man. He's not taking pleasure in this, man. All right. But the most high is, uh, is going to follow through with his word every single time. So we broke the uh, 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 agreement. So we are under punishment right now, man. But he's suffering with us, man, by seeing us uh, in the things that's going on, man. But let's read on. It says, uh, suffering, uh, long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. And who are those vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? The same vessels of dishonor, which is Esau Edom, man. Okay. The most high is suffering, uh, 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 allowing this devil will continue doing his doing, but he is it, about to be a rap, man. And then he's going to take pleasure in seeing his children in perfection, man, for an eternity, man. Okay. Now, after a thousand years, it won't be no soca, no more Edomites, man. All right. And you got Jake always want to come run to the defense of these devils, man. What about the so-called white man? You can't talk about them. I got some good white friends. Well, they probably Jake's, man. I always say that, man. You got some Edomites that, man, got some real cool spirits. Man, most likely they uh they Jake's, man. All right? But for these damn devils, no matter what you niggas want to stand up and say, you want to sing, he got the whole world in his hands like fucking uh, uh, Medea. I don't even call him by his real name. All right? Because that's what he really want to be as a woman. So I'm going to identify him as that, man. All right, but you got these Jakes coming to the rescue of this man, but nothing is going to stop his destruction because the Most High have said, have said it to be, man. Okay, real quick, this is a uh, book of Ecclesiastes, it's also Rock, chapter uh, 3 and verse 28. Con, it says, in the, in the punishment of the, of the proud, there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness hath taken root in him, man. All right, and that can go for anybody, but who's the king of pride, man? Who's the ultimate man full of pride to a point he feel he can combat with Yahweh Shine Angels? All right, let's let me grab a quick precept to see who, who who's the, the head man of pride, man. This is uh, J uh, Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me, man. Who possibly in the earth could be on a level of control and power to where they think that they are the most high power, man? All right? Whose face is on the dollar bill, man? All right? Whose uh, 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 traditions and ways are pushed and accepted all throughout the earth, man? All right? Everywhere you go is to influence this so-called white man, okay? So that's who the scriptures is talking about when it, it, it ever gets into the, uh, uh, the wicked, man, okay? Yes, there's wicked amongst Jake and other nations, but this man is a sick, diabolical demon, man, all right? So back to uh, Sirach 3 and 28, it says, In the punishment of the proud, there is no remedy, man. 
So when this punishment come upon him, it'll be no solution. There'll no, be no bouncing back, man. All right, he had his chance to bounce back, all right, in the Renaissance era, man. All right, and he he didn't reign in terror. Now it's time for him to go down, man. He served his purpose, man. He, he was the whip and stick unto Israel. He brought forth many prophecies. Now it's time for his raggedy ass to go down, man. All right, it says, for the plan of wickedness have taken root in him, man. All right, this man is deep rooted into wickedness, man. That's all he knows how to do. All right, no matter. That's what the scriptures tell you. Never trust your enemy, man. Okay? Never take your guard down when dealing with this so-called white man. All right? And whether you like it or not, it's his time to go down, man. Thus said the scriptures. All right? Uh, this is Job chapter 18 and verse 5. It says, Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out. The spark of his fire shall not shine. All right? This devil is going down, man. All right? And that's what he was said to be, man. You think the Most High is going to allow him to do all this wickedness, persecute his uh, chosen people, all right, blaspheme him and his son, and then he's not going to judge these people, man, as a nation, okay? You, you niggas are bugged out, man. All right? You got nerve enough to have Jake say, no, they in uh, Israel, all right, claim they teaching the words and saying the Edomites can be saved, man. You're fucking out of your mind, man. All right? And the most I was going to destroy you with the damn devil that you love so much, man. All right? This is um, Job chapter 21 and verse 30. It says the wick that the wicked... Uh, let me start up. Why well, get straight to the point. It says that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction... They shall be brought forth in the day of wrath, man. All right. And that's what we're hastening, man, because we understand for the kingdom of heaven to be established, what has to happen, man. All right. There has to be a great destruction uh, that's going to take place in the earth to take the current rulers out of power. All rulers on any level will be taken out of power. Okay. So righteousness can be established in the earth under Yahweh Shai. Okay. So this white man who is at the, uh, at the lead seat. Okay, running the earth, man, through wickedness, he is going to be taken down in a dead wrath, man. All right? Placed in chains and, and, and beaten into slavery, man. Okay? He had his time to run. You devils had a good, wicked run. You had a good, wicked run, boy. Boy, boy, boy. But it's time for y'all asses to go in chains, man. All right? It's time for things to be balanced out and true justice to be executed in the earth, man. All right? Through the power and will of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. Okay. So, man, really, the the point been made. Hey, this devil was designed to be exactly what he is, man. He was designed to be wicked and come against the nation of Israel, man. And now he's getting ready to come full fledged, man. All right. So, uh, Lord willing, there's some edification in this video to anybody who have watched. Uh, but once again, want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rukhakodash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, the peace and blessings to the elect men out there. Shalom.